There's a lot worse more people than me in the minutes. All I remember is just being on fire. I can't even describe it. It was too horrific. We're just standing here talking, having a beer. Next thing I knew, everything just went black. It's the loudest noise you've, you've ever heard. And then the shockwave comes, and then weightlessness as you're thrown across the floor and knocked out unconscious. Bits of body everywhere. And I know there was nothing else I could have done. I couldn't have because this is so huge. How are you doing? Yeah, good. They're really good. I've been well looked after. The people here have been fantastic. All the volunteers and whatnot. So, no, good. No, good. At this stage, his burns are, I think, 54%, so, but he's, he's hanging in there. He's yes. hanging in there. There's still a chance. Mm. I just can't believe it, you know, how he is. And... <sighs> Dad didn't want me to see him this way, and it kills me to know that, because <laughs> he's everything to me, especially, and I'm everything to him, I think. Mm -hmm. With Peter, what we've seen is, is the ongoing response to a major trauma injury. He's got a big fight in his hands. My dad, to me, is a hero. And apparently, when he was in the hospital, it was just unbelievable. Like, he was helping people, picking them up. On the television, he was saying, no, go and look after someone else. That's dad, but that's just what dad, that's, just, that's Peter Hughes, you know? And, how do you keep going? Because I just want uh, that, I want him back, you know? I want to have all them moments again. Hey, Peter, nice to meet you yeah, and nice, nice to see you. you. Yeah, you do. Looking so much better. Yeah. Last time I saw you, you were fighting for your life in Adelaide. Yeah, I didn't think I was, but uh, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. You were still breathing away and I was sort of uh, still going to be there. Right by his side the whole time. I'm on the mend, uh, getting back to 100%. Obviously, uh, I'm in recovery. But I like, I've learned a lot about burns now and uh, how you react to burns and uh, how your body does. Look, I'd just like to thank all the Australian people. Uh, it's fairly typical of Australians, I think, which is open our hearts out as soon as someone's down. It's a bit overwhelming. Yeah, and uh, I'm proud of him for getting through it. Yeah, it's, it's hard to put into words how you, how you love someone, and uh, I don't love anyone any more than I love my son. I love you, Dad. Uh. He means everything to me. He, um, he's just been my strength. He's been my, it's my will to live. Uh, you, you tend to take things for granted, and I definitely don't take things for granted, especially family-wise, anymore. I'm very lucky to be where I am right now. I'm, I'm still just an average guy that's uh, getting on with life. I, I'm, I'm just, I've got so much purpose in my life. I feel great. I've spoken to you many times over the years, and you always say, I'm great, business is great, life's great. But I've often wondered, are you really OK? No, I'm not. I, um, everything on the outside looks good, but on the inside, it's, uh, it's been a massive battle. I, I just battle every day, and, and every day, is, to me, is a good day, obviously, because I'm here.